Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I have some very exciting news for you all. Flipkart Girls Wanna Code program sixth edition is out now, and the registrations are open. I have mentioned the link in the description, and you can go there and apply for this program. But before you apply, it is very important to understand what this program is about and how you can maximize your chances of success in this program. To help us better understand this program, we have with us Priya Malik, who is an upcoming SDE at Adobe, and she has cracked the Flipkart Girls Wanna Code program in her third year. Uh, Priya, I am welcome you to Next Techies. Uh, can we start with a short introduction from you? Okay, hi Shreya. So my name is Priya Malik, and currently I am an undergraduate at Indira Gandhi Delhi Technical University for Women. and i am doing my bachelor's in technology in major information technology and as shreya mentioned i am an upcoming sd at adobe and um, last year i cleared the flipkart girls wanna code cohort and i was a part of uh, that cohort wherein around 200 students from all over the india were selected for this opportunity right Now to set the context, uh, could you like elaborate on what the Flipkart Girls Wanna Code program is actually about and why it is a very good opportunity for women in tech? Okay, so this Flipkart Girls Wanna Code program is conducted like once in a year and it is um, open uh, to all the women in tech. And uh, talking about about this opportunity. it has this objective uh, to basically be supportive for the cause of the under representation of women in tech and in order to like uh, get them industry ready uh, to crack interviews and to get in their dream companies so the last part of this cohort uh, has mock interviews so that you can actually uh, get to know that uh, where you stand and what all improvements you need to make in order to um get through and uh, in order to actually get through interviews and other rounds of any company not just flipkart but other companies as well so i think that was the best part of the cohort and that's where you actually you know um get to learn a lot as well in the end they also do have um interview opportunities for getting an internship at flipkart as well okay now who can apply for this program like are there any specific branches or colleges that can apply or it's uh, like open to all students in uh, all colleges so it's open to all of the uh, students who are currently in their third and fourth year of btech and for mtech both of the years are eligible for it and um, they can be from any specialization or domain not just technical like csc or it they can be from any domain so all branches are eligible and it's only that uh, only women colleges are eligible right uh yes only women are from engineering colleges like in from btech and mtech background right now uh, talking about the selection process so what's the flow of this whole uh, program and how competitive is is it to secure a spot in this gwc cohort okay so uh, for the flipkart girls wanna code i had been a part of the fifth um, fifth edition of it and during that there were uh, two coding rounds for the initial screening process like the first round and the second round both were eliminatory in nature and after that uh, there were around 200 students that were selected for the uh, like the final uh, gwc learning cohort so uh, but this year i think they have changed it so this year there is only one coding round so if you give that like acche se so there is like fair chance that you get into it and i think it's easier to clear one round than two rounds so i that's agree i mean two rounds is like two times you are being screened and one round is it's like much easier it's only that the competition might increase because it's only a single round that will decide whether you get into the cohort or not so yes yeah. it can be competitive in that way but it is much easier to clear one round as compared to clearing two rounds right now uh, you mentioned that uh, you had two rounds uh, of online uh, like online coding so is the round purely based on coding or there are some mcq questions also okay so um as far as i remember there were only two to three questions and uh, those were based purely on dsa 
there were no mcqs as such so in 90 but, minutes you have to quote uh, two to three dsa questions yes and what was the level of questions asked like were there were they hard questions or were there uh, like lead code medium questions so i would term that them as mostly lead code medium only hmm. so since in my case there were two rounds so first round had easy to medium questions and second round had uh, medium to a little bit of hard okay so uh, like you mentioned once we clear the online coding challenge you get into the jwc learning cohort so what exactly happens in these learning cohorts okay so uh, after you get shortlisted after the coding round uh, they will like go through a process of profile verification um which in which uh, they would ask for um, certain documents just for the process of verification and after that uh, you will be a part of the jwc learning cohort and in that cohort i think uh, it spanned over a time span of 3 uh, to 4 weeks uh, like in that in those 3 to 4 weeks they divide the whole curriculum into four modules and in those four modules they try to cover all the dsa topics like in the first module i remember there was a certain uh, basic topics like maps strings all of that so like that they divide the whole dsa syllabus into a few few topics and they have uh, sessions uh, like on those topics every week okay so uh, like um basically um, engineers and um, software engineers from flipkart are only uh teaching that those topics to us and after completion of those particular topics there was a weekly test which was done in order to assess that how much you will you were able to understand from those sessions and how much you could take away so after each test there was this leaderboard mm-hmm. where you could see that how much you scored and what your rank is so after uh, the com- completion of these four modules what they do is they consolidate the score of each of the module and using that score they decide whether the particular student would be given an interview opportunity or not so as far as i remember from 200 students only 30 to 40 are given that interview opportunity which is an in person interview at their office so uh, like how does the mentorship component help the candidates during this whole process of like the learning cohorts basically okay so to start with uh, in the initial phase of the cohort they allocate a mentor to each of the student and the mentor is someone from uh, flipkart only and uh, like you can discuss all your concerns with them basically they ask you in the very starting that what all areas you want to improve on so there are uh, certain areas like in the interview that help you go through it like for example dsa is one component apart from that communication is another component so there are various components in an interview that you need to focus on so your mentor actually helps you and guides you and you know there are certain insights that only a person working in the industry can tell you so all of that uh, they help you with and if you are even facing um, issues in certain topics in understanding certain topics or some of your uh, dsa topics are weak they also help you through that so staying in touch with your mentor consistently is also um, a good thing i would recommend that um, stay in touch with your mentor uh, let them know what your weak points are let them know where you want to improve so they will help you focus more on those areas right so basically your mentor will help you with your doubts that could be regarding to any of the sessions that flipkart engineers are taking and uh, like the mentor itself is from flipkart only yeah right so uh, like how long does this uh, like take to complete the learning cohort like what's the time period or timeline for this okay so this uh, spans from 4 to 5 weeks so initially they have four modules and these four modules focus on interview skills dsa skills all of that as a whole 
and after the four modules are complete as i told you like after each module they have a weekly test and a leaderboard is maintained right. after that um, at the end of the fourth module uh, there is another test which is like in which they ask questions from all the modules a combined test for all the modules and after that fifth test like what they do they consolidate all the scores and select some 30 people and then uh, they take their mock interviews as well now uh, let's talk about the uh, preparation strategies which you uh, followed and this is also the most important part for this so uh, how did you prepare for the online coding challenge like did you follow any specific resources okay so actually i was um, doing dsa like since second year of my btech so uh, i was kind of uh, already well versed through the topics but uh, when the online coding round was about to take place i knew like before one or two weeks that the coding round would take place so i think uh, in that time if you have made your notes you can revise through them and apart from that i think um, uh, in case there are some topics you are weak at or you have lost touch touch of i think one or two weeks is a good enough time to like um, focus on your weak areas if there are any and uh, like be actually ready for the online coding challenge so this is what i did um, i think this would this would vary for everyone like which all topics they want to um, polish or brush up so that actually depends so, uh, like now shifting to your personal experience so like what was your favorite part of the program and any specific learning or a memorable moment you would like to share okay so for me the most fruitful part i think was interaction with my mentor because uh, there were certain things I wasn't aware of before, but the, which I got to know only after discussing with them my mentor. And I think, um, like, since they have gone through the same uh, same kind of phase that you have gone through, they actually know the do's and don'ts of things. So, so for me, uh, my weak area used to be graphs. So I took my mentor's help. He provided me a good question bank for it. He helped me to actually uh, strengthen that area of mine. And I mentioned that I also want to improve on my communication skills. So uh, he helped me through that as well. So I think uh, getting a mentor to you know navigate through that journey is one of the good things and uh, if you could elaborate on the perks that are being offered by uh, this program yes so if you get to the uh, like top 30 uh, students inside the cohort like at the end if you are in the top 30 at the lead leaderboard so you get an opportunity for ppis like pre-placement interview opportunity so for that uh, they like uh, those 30 students get to visit the uh, office in person in Bangalore and there uh, they have interviews for them and through that they actually select um, FTEs and interns. Right. So uh, before we wrap up, any final thoughts or message for the viewers who are considering to apply for this program? Uh, I think like if you are eligible, you must apply for this opportunity and i think it is a very good opportunity if you like uh, take advantage of it fruitfully so you will get to learn a lot apart from that if you get to like those top 30 people in the cohort you also get to uh, visit their office in person for the interview which i think is a perk in its own and um, there you will actually get to meet a lot more people uh, so lot more opportunity for networking for getting to know people for getting to know the work culture in a tech company as a whole and i think um, since there are uh, like other students like you all over india in this cohort so you get to network with them as well and i think um, it's a good place to network and 
uh, like um, gain some industry insights which you would get otherwise so i think it's a great opportunity and uh, even if like you feel that you feel uh, a little bit of doubt that whether you should apply or not so my suggestion would be you should definitely apply and uh, not think that you will be selected or not and what will happen like i know that um, i know from my personal experience as well that when you are applying to any opportunity you always have that second thought kind of a thing but i think uh, that um, if like if you apply to it and if that opportunity is for you uh, you will definitely get it so that's all so uh, thank you so much priya for sharing your experience and i hope the viewers find this uh, like can take inspiration and guidance from your journey how you cracked this uh, flipkart goes one a code program and it was uh, really nice interacting with you so uh, if you guys have any questions you can drop them in the comment section and we will definitely get back to you